Hello, hello. We're here for episode, uh, let me check. We're here for episode 18 of Darling in the Franks. When the Sakura blooms. All right, last episode, like <laughs> some literal insane shit just happened. Like, like the show just went deep into like some crazy lore. Apparently Nana and the other, the bald guy that she's always with, like they were both used to be pilots. Like they were pilots and now they're like helping out or something. And they've repressed their own puberty. We also learned that humans don't give birth and like it's been like it's seen as like a past evolution like it's something done in the past not something that's done now as well two of our main ca our characters decided to have uh like procreate and now they're giving birth to someone at, at least i think that's what's gonna happen oh also the nine apparently they're not human at least i don't think they're human because they hate the thought of like procreation and stuff like that basically what we're learning is that the experiment that these uh, pilots, the Franks, our pilot group has been going through is that they're just being traded like regular humans from our time. Because in the Darling in the Franks future, like humans have just long grown past any of these like desires or needs. They just like work and like get all their emotions from like these tubes that they're being fed through and shit like that also there's like no genders like there's no like just gender has been abolished like there's no need for male or females also we don't know what dr franks what his goal is like obviously he's doing an experiment with this group that we've been watching but what, like what is the reason what is he trying to figure out like does he actually not know about human like procreation and stuff like that but yeah let's get into the episode when the sakura blooms like that already gives me like some sort of met metaphor of like a child being born or some shit i don't know Let's just get into it. <clears throat> Episode, the Sakura Blooms. Here's my man after having the intercourse, the giving of births. Ohio? On the Sakura, okay, literally there are Sakuras blooming. Yo, put some clothes on, bro. Bro, they literally just like procreated. <laughs> Bro, that was such a. I low key. Okay. I kind of called that it's like someone was gonna give birth, but I didn't think they were actually gonna do it. Like, no way that. <laughs> she's actually gonna give birth. What a weird turn. Kiss me now. Kiss me now. Kiss me now. Oh shit, they're finally getting orders again. And Nana is gone. She has just been removed after giving after having puberty again. Bax, like they just got ignored forever now they're ready to move. Also they've been being spied on. Dude, holy shit. This whole city has been, this whole plantation has been destroyed. They don't want to leave. Yeah, at least I understood that these are the good times in this fucking place. Because after they leave here, like, shit will never be the same. Oh, damn, the river dried out. Yeah, they are like. They're at their, they're at their end of fucking. Their wits end. They have no resources left. Oi. Have one last dinner as a family. <laughs> a wedding? What the fuck? He's about to marry O2. That's a turn I never expected. Me and O2. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, these people went crazy. How long have they been partners? Like two months? Three months? And they're, they're already like having a kid and getting married? What the fuck? Oh, no. Bro, your life sucks, man. Yo, she left you? Yo, she left you? 
I've never seen such a cooked man alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, she really left you as your partner, had a child, or, and now she's getting married. And then you're gonna get her married. You're gonna be the fucking priest. Oh my god. They have a camera? A Polaroid. Wedding ring. When the Sakura blooms, roll credits. That's the episode name. Hiro! Hiro. Oh, he didn't get hit in the face. Hey, why are they actually goaded at soccer? Bro, they got so good at soccer. What the hell? Why are you sad? Oh, because you're in love with Ichigo or some shit. Oh, she has the kid fever. Like the only time she ever stood up for anything. Yo, I for completely forgot she slapped that guy. What? What? Who'd you do it for then? I did it for you! I'm in love with you! Oh god! What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, this bitch is insane! She's a lesbian. Bro, what is happening in these last few episodes? Bro, what's up with this girl? What's up with you? Oh! Shit! I called it, bro. That's it? That's all you have to do to get someone's love? Just give them a name? Your name but should be... Ikuno! It is a silly reason. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. What the fuck? You're あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
What the fuck? Oh, all your dead partners. Look what you did. Everyone you've murdered. What the fuck? What is happening? This isn't real. This isn't real. She's having a nightmare. There's no way. Chill out, chill out. Gotta be a nightmare. I'm scared. I'm afraid. When the flower blooms. I forgot what they're called. Dude, I literally said the name like a while ago. I already forgot. Yo, she's just fishing for compliments. When the soccer blooms, that's what it's called. Marry me. Hey, a little too wholesome. When does it get bad? Oh, look, they're just having fun, and then boom, a Klaxosaur blows everything up. So much warmth. So, so beautiful. No! Oh, the priest! The cucked priest! They're getting married! Bro, these people, what are the people that are spying on them think? They're like, what the hell? These kids are getting married. Alright, these are the last moments to enjoy life. In a few... Oh, no, don't cry, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, they're spying on him. What do you think of that? Yep. Happiness is over. Happiness is over. Wait. No, oh, it's so sad. It's gonna be happy. Oh, it's so sad. The happiness will occur and then it's just gonna be full sadness. Yeah, with your cheap ass ring, bro, that shit hurts. Yo, it's crazy how this guy ended up here. He was like all depressed. Oh my god, don't cr No, don't say anything, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what is happening? Dude, all the happiness is over. You're going to the slave camps. <laughs> no way you lose to this girl. This girl probably sucks ass. Oh, two, let's go. Oh, two, don't get your ass beat, please. Oh, two, please. No. Bro, fuck pop pop. Hey, till death do us part. Damn. They just got to take to the re indoctrination camps. Oh shit. <laughs> Rebellion now! Rebellion now! It's time to rebel. 
Oh my god, are they actually just gonna get murdered? Holy shit, that would be such a sad ending. Holy fuck. Marriage that leads to death. Just like in the book. Mama! Or Nana! Oh, they used to be partners. They used to be the ones with emotions. Oh, they're like a, a parallel to fucking Mitsuru and Kokoro. Back when he still had hair. So he has like emotions, but he doesn't, but he still understands what's right and wrong. That guy got murdered. Our ape, like, so there's Klaxosaurus, ape, and then humanity. What is ape? Are these people ape? So like, half the people at this table are human, and then half are ape. Camp for children, bird's nest. I mean, it literally looks like a bird's nest with eggs in it. Facts. They're probably dead. Sorry to say. Oh my god, they're still alive. They have no emotions. They've been absolutely rebooted. Absolutely rebooted. Memories erased. Yeah, they got their memories erased. Absolutely rebooted. Oh my god. The blooming Sakura. She remembers. Yes, sir. It's time to rebel, boy. Hey, heroes getting a little rebellious. I like that. I like a little bit of rebellion. Hey, we like a little bit of rebellion. <sighs> hey, fuck ape. Fuck humanity. Fuck the Klaxosaurs. Just live for yourselves, for real. Fuck all this shit, bro. Yo, it's time to get in your in your franks, bro, and just fight. Against the fucking everyone else. Fuck all these people. Yo, uh, what a sad episode. I thought it was kind of weird episode at first because like they're getting married and shit. And then bro, they just get absolutely brain wiped, mind wiped, forget everything. Damn. Also, they're finally not in the home anymore. Their old home plantation, they're gone. They're in the nest now. Like all happy times are over. The, like... Our fucking <laughs> our pilots are ready to fucking rebel. They're ready to kill like kick some ass and kill some people. This next episode is gonna go crazy. I promise. Only thing I can think in my head right now is that this next episode has to go crazy. Like Hero is pissed the fuck off. He's he's done. When, when he said we're not even allowed a little bit of happiness, that's when I knew, dude. Th they're fed up. They're done taking Papa's orders. They're independent. They do not care anymore. They're ready to burn shit to live, bro. But yeah, yeah, that <laughs> dude, the whole like takeover of the fucking wedding scene, that shit was so sad. <laughs> also, my man Futori, Fatoshi, whatever hit, absolutely cucked to the brim. That is the saddest character to exist. But yeah, damn. Now that they're stuck in this place, like, I, what do they do now? Like, they're never going back to the original home. They're stuck in this place. How do they get into their Franks? Like, do they get. I feel like whenever they get given a mission, they're going to have a plan in order to escape once they get in their franks. Like, they're going to have a mission to do some shit, and they're going to say, fuck the mission, we're in our franks, and we're fucking escaping, we're rebelling. But yeah, another good episode. It was a decent episode, it was okay. But it really it set up something that could be way greater. Episode 19, I already see the name of the episode, so it already set up something that could be so much better. So yeah, let's just get into episode 19. Peace out, see you on the other side. <laughs>